The new spaces, the teaching spaces, the research spaces, the lab spaces allow us to be way more creative, innovative, flexible. Some things we've done for a long time but have been space restricted, we get to do now and it's really, really exciting and fun to see that happen. Something else that's fascinating and interesting about the Wall Center is the amount of light. And you might think that wouldn't impact teaching and learning, but what it really impacts is how much we want to spend time in the building, us as well as the students, how easy it is to spend hours in lab and hours in the classroom and it's a space that you want to be in and that automatically changes the way things are working in a room with students because they just want to be there. No one by, by him or herself can solve a particular problem. We go through life as part of teams. So one of the first things we need to do uh, with our students is learn how to be part of a team. So one of the things that we do here in the Wall Center is we bring people together, whether if it's purposely in a particular class or by happenstance when people are studying or working in groups and they hear what other people are doing. Uh, the design of the space allows us to interact more freely. I love how transdisciplinary the space is. Um, I feel like that's the buzzword for liberal arts, but WALL really encompasses what that means. As an environmental major, I love how connected to nature I feel whenever I'm in the building, from all the windows to the plant wall to my ability to be upstairs on a balcony and just sort of look over campus. The space here is so exciting and inviting and open and colorful. I'm in a program called The Collaboratory. It's brand new this year. There's me and 14 other first years and we all share the same four professors. Obviously, we, we spend a lot of time together. We have the same four classes together. About half of the time, this is where our classes meet. I absolutely love studying here, partly because of the comfort and how quiet it can be, and also partly because of just the aesthetic, and it feels modern. Actually, our first meeting was right here in the space, which was really awesome. It was a great way to sort of start the experience with this beautiful space. The first day I came to Davidson as a freshman, the biggest and nicest guy on the hall was a guy from Conway, South Carolina named Craig Wall, who became my close friend over four years at Davidson. And we were involved in ROTC together. And one of the least favorite experiences of my life, though a real growth experience, was going to Fort Bragg for six weeks in the summer. And uh, among the people who were there, I think there was nobody that was more miserable than me and Craig Wall. He was a leader there. He was a leader uh, on this campus. And, of course, it just translated into leadership in life. My college friend, who I thought of as just kind of the epitome of everything that represented Davidson as a college student, all of a sudden here was a person who did that for the state of South Carolina and for the whole South and for the whole country. He was the chair of the board for about a decade when I was president. In my mind's eye, there's no other person who does any better at personifying what Davidson is all about. The term scholar-athlete that we bandy about sometimes with good effect uh, was really the epitome of who Craig was. He was the president of ODK, he was captain of the football team, and on and on and on like that. But he did it with such modesty and humility and grand sense of humor about everything. And here comes this opportunity at Davidson to have a transformational facility and also the privilege of having the Duke Endowment who cared so much about Craig through his leadership there and the Wall family to, uh, to make this building a reality. So with the gifts of those two and many other folks who care about the place, uh, here we are.